Hello YouTube, and welcome to another DBT Gamer Special. Today, we're taking a look at Power Rangers Dino Thunder for the Game Boy Advance. So let's get started. Back in 2004, when the Game Boy Advance was almost at the end of its lifespan, sadly. THQ, short for Torture Headquarters. Downtown Reefside, and it's attacking innocent people. The Red Tyranna, the, the Tyranna drones are leaders of his army. Connor, the Raptor Rider, help you get down and take get downtown and take them out. We're counting on you. Got it. DBT Gamer, why on earth are we playing Power Rangers Dino Thunder? Well, yeah, this is a basic tutorial level. Well, very sadly, about, yes I know how to attack. What, about one week ago, Sadly, Jason David Frank, who played a lot of Power Ranger characters. He was Tommy in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He was Dr. Oliver in Power Rangers Dino Thunder, which is why I chose this game. And also, it's the only Power Rangers game I have. And... Yeah, so I'm doing this video as like a for, for two reasons. One, it gives me the opportunity to talk about Power Rangers, and it was something that I really enjoyed as a kid. You know, I, I really enjoyed Power Rangers. It was one of my favourite shows, and when I heard the news about Jason David Frank passing away, I was, I was shocked, and it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's sad, and I just wanted to make a video in his memory, and I thought Power Rangers Dino Thunder on the Game Boy Advance was a good choice, it's, this is not a bad Game Boy Advance game, all things considered, you know, I give it a, a 3 out of 5, maybe a 7 out of 10 at most. It's just a simple single player button mashing um, beat em up and complete the objectives. There are some sword fights, I will show at least one of those off. And you can even inside buildings. So, yeah, my history with Power Rangers. Well, when I was younger, I watched all the series of Mighty Morphin. 
I also watched the um, Power Rangers Zio. Power Rangers in Space. I, I watched a lot of Power Rangers. Me and my brother and sisters both enjoyed and appreciated it. It was just something we could all watch together and not argue over the TV remote. You know, it, it was. To some people, Power Rangers is childish and it's just for kids and it's a. It's a campy sort of action show for children. It's. You know, it's, um, it's silly and it's. People in spandex and. You know, that sort of thing. But there's a reason why it's lasted so long and it's still around to this very day. And ultimately, you know, I'm glad it's still around. You know, it's and I'm glad it's still making people happy. So that's good. Did I go in here? to talk about Power Rangers series that I enjoyed. Uh, well, I haven't watched all the series because, you know, as you get older you move on to other stuff, but I, w I was always quite nostalgic for Power Rangers. I, I watched a lot of Linkara's recaps on Power Rangers series and some of the concepts that became when adapting the um, Japanese Super Sentai were actually quite good. I wonder the wildest one was. Let's just have a Terminator plot for and this um, Mad Max themed Power Rangers when Disney were doing it. was quite cool. That was Power Rangers RPM, which I often thought was quite a stupid name, but thankfully the, the um, show had a decent premise. Uh, I really liked Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder I actually watched pretty much all the way through. That was a really good uh, legacy series. And I am. Um, what was. Good. I actually met Ethan, which was the Blue Ranger from, from Power Rangers Dino Thunder, at a Comic Con once. Was a few years back, I'm gonna say five, maybe about five years ago. Maybe, maybe seven years ago at the most. So, yeah, it was nice to meet him. Ethan was the stereotypical geeky sort of character, kind of like a homage to... Oh crap, I, I think I died. I don't... Put it on easy mode. I'm... I guess n normal was a little bit optimistic. <laughs> I think the, um, mostly the difficult level of this game revolves around you just take more damage. That there isn't anything else more to it in terms of, oh yeah, and the objects are slightly easier as well, but so 
Yeah. Let's see, what was series did I enjoy when I was younger? Uh, SPD was always quite cool, the whole um, aliens and humans living together and SPD actually had a crossover with Dino Thunder as well and it was a you know Duke Trent Passio. You know. So yeah. I am... Um, the coins can give you an extra life, or... I'm not exactly sure what they do. I don't have the manual for this game, I just have the single cartridge. I picked it up at I can... I think I picked it up at a convention or at a second-hand game shop. But there are quite a lot of Power Rangers games for the... Um, Game Boy Advance in 2D sprite format. All of them have password systems, but the passwords are really short and easy to remember. They're like less than five characters, so they're not really a chore to remember. Okay, yeah, there's a special move with the um, trigger that I forgot he could do that. It's been so long since I played this. Uh, I'll leave that hat for later. Ah, I'm looking for the red ones, that's what that's my objective. Beat all the red ones that I can, can complete the level. That's fine with me. The red one the green the red ones are important, the green ones are just a punching. Everything punching. Okay, and the red ones hiding crates. So I'm trying to think of all series I enjoyed. I really liked the original Power Rangers movie when I was younger, from like 1993, 1994, or maybe it was 1995. It was, uh, it had all the original actors from the TV show, well, a lot of the original actors from the TV show, and it was its own unique story, and from what I know, it's considered non-canon these days, but I always thought it was a, you know, a pretty cool film. The, the CGI is pretty dated by today's standard, but what do you expect? It was made in the 90s. They also made a second movie, uh, Power Rangers Turbo movie, and it's supposed to be like a, an opening prologue to Power Rangers Turbo, and it's, to be brutally honest, I think it's pretty bad. I'm not a fan. The, the original one's probably the best Power Rangers movie out of all of them. Yes, I'm biased and probably blinded by nostalgia, but... I remember um, about five years ago they made a new Power Rangers movie, a, a, a new live action one with new actors and there were some cameos of Tommy and Kimberly towards the end of the um, movie that popped up. And overall the new movie that we got about five, six years ago, I wasn't the biggest fan. There was a lot of changes to the, um, to the um, aesthetic of how the, how, how everything looked. I mean, 
for starters, Alpha 5 looked like a combination of an alien and a robot. It was... It was weird. Zordon actually looked okay. It looked like a, 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 a digital LED sort of display. Which, for a modern upgrade, you know what? That's fine, I can... That's okay. Uh... The, um... The, the range... The range of suits were all, like, shiny and glittery. I kind... I kind of had, like, an Iron Man feel, I suppose, they were going for. Now, as for the, the Zords themselves, I felt... The Zords, they looked fine when they were not connected into the Megazords. You know, they looked at, like separate into animals. You could tell what animal they were. They were, they were all different dinosaurs and stuff. But when they combined into the Megazord for the new movie, everything sort of just fell apart. It looked like a, a giant silver man with gems stuck all over it. So... In several areas, they... Didn't do well with, with the new Power Rangers movie. They just, um, and, and I didn't think it was that was that good. I thought it was average at best. So yeah, if I ever watch a Power Rangers movie and go back to it. I always go back to the one that was in the 90s. I go up two more to find. Go find some more crates. I don't know what these gems do. There's a, there's a, there has been a bunch of Power Rangers games released before. So... There's a lot of... Uh... They, were on, they were on every console. The original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo. One of the funniest things about the Game Boy version was you had one rate, you had five ranges to choose from, but they were all, but they were all coloured grey because the Game Boy here uh, had black and white graphics, so you had grey ranger, grey ranger, and grey ranger. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, I got one more to find. This game can get a little bit monotonous. But well, it's it's a simple beat 'em up, and it works pretty well. And it's it doesn't try to do something too complicated. It, it just it knows what it is, and it knows what it's doing. That's. Okay, the um, super attack costs uh, dino coins. That's how that works. There are some combos you can do. You, you can mash B to do your basic combo. A boss got this staff. And this cake. Y your moves are limited. At this there we go, that's one.
Oh, I forgot about these. <laughs> yeah, there's a puzzle thing where you have to power up the um, Zord. It's... It's not difficult. But you only get two shots at it. So, yeah, you've got to make a path to the Megazord so that it's not too difficult, thankfully. I'm just going to have a look at the puzzle and make sure I can figure this out properly before I even start. Because I can't really afford to screw up here. Okay, I think I've got this. Okay, that's, that's fine. Bingo! Sorted! Don't need to do anything else! Done it! <laughs> nice and easy! Yeah, to be brutally honest, I think the worst part of the game is these sliding puzzle segments because Mostly, this game works well as an action game. This whole puzzle section thing, it slows things down, it can be a little bit annoying, and there's also these things which can either give you more time or take away time. But I just like to do it as easily and as fast as possible. Okay, we've unlocked the Cephler Zord, which is a punching fist. Mesogog is back spreading evil and causing destruction. This time he has turned the humans into fossils. Oh god! As long as you believe in yourself, no one can defeat you. Even use the Tricera shield to rip them out of the solid rock and shrink at, yeah, so, yeah, using the blue rage ether now. So we got another action based punching stage. I'm gonna show off at least one Megazord fight, because those would be quite fun. Okay, we've got 20! You got 20 to find! I was expecting at least 10. But, well, okay, you don't have to use the Tricero Shield, you just punch them. Wait, it takes more punches. So, what games have we been playing lately? Uh, Digimon Survive, I'm trying to get a better ending. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow on the Nintendo Switch Castlevania Game Boy Advance version. This is my second time playing the game. The first time I played it was on the Wii U and I remember really enjoying it, so... Overall, this Castlevania Game Boy Advance version, it's really good. I have really enjoyed it. It was, it was a great way to discover these classic Castle... Game Boy Advance Castle... Classic Castlevania games on the Game Boy Advance. And... I'm going to talk about all three of the games. In my opinion, the best two on the cartridge are Circle of the Moon and Aria of Sorrow. Uh, Harmony of Distance, it felt... It fell kind of flat for me. I, it, the navigation was confusing, and the music was obviously rushed, and it was obviously a lot low quality. So, yeah. There is also Castlevania Dracula X, which is, which is a 
poor man version of Rondo of Blood, and the least said about that, the better. It's just... A, a overall, worse support. It's... If you're gonna play Rondo of Blood, actually play Rondo of Blood. Don't play Dracula, it's just not worth the trouble. Oh, I got a jumping punch this time. No jumping kick, that's different. Yeah, I've been enjoying all the old school, a lot of the old school Metroidvanias for Game Boy Advance. And I would recommend getting the Castlevania collection if you're a fan of Metroidvanias. It's, they're not as good as the ones on the, on the DS, but, you know, temper your expectations and just enjoy them for what they are and you'll have a good time. And they've added in some um, extra features like a sound test and um, artwork and all that good stuff. There's even an encyclopedia for each game which helps you identify enemies, rare drops and um, equipment and items. All that good stuff. It's just... It's just... Good. Uh, done all this stuff. I just not noticed the civilian sprite is always the same. It's always a guy in a in a in blue trousers and a green t-shirt, and he just says thank you. So Riverside is filled with clones of the exact same guy. It's like some sort of weird horror movie. Figure out where I'm supposed to go over there. Okay, I, I I think I actually have to go for the uh, building on this one. Unless I'm missing something. Yes, I am! Sadly, this game doesn't have any multiplayer. You can't link two game where a bouncer together and have two, two Power Rangers punching. Guys, that is a that is a big shame. I I grew up with a lot of beat 'em ups when I was younger, you know, like Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. You know, these were oh, this was a decoy. This one's got a fossilized Tyrannodr drill. That's it's an obvious decoy, but it's nice that they put it in there for variety's sake. Oh, it's a girl in a skirt. Oh, there's also a girl in a skirt. So that they did have some variety with the sprites. My mistake. Yeah, you've pressed the start button. You can see your password at any time. I believe the select button does nothing. So... Yeah. Uh, let's see. What other games have I been playing? I've been playing some Pokemon Violet. I've got two badges. I've defeated two Team Stars base. And I've defeated three Titans. It's so far, in terms of my enjoyment out of the game, and what I am enjoying, um, I haven't really noticed that many glitches. I have noticed quite a lot of popping and some frame rate, some frame rate issues. But I haven't really noticed any big, crazy glitches like I've seen online. 
Although I haven't been going out of my way to break the game. Because... Yeah, I've... I've been trying to keep the game as stable as possible. But I have seen people recommending ways to... Invert a commas here, implied, to... Either fix or mitigate problems. Uh, way number one: make sure the game, if you if you buy it digitally, install it onto your hard drive instead of your memory card. And also, if you play the game for a long play session, don't play it for too long. Just keep resetting your game after about an hour or so, because it'll allow the game to just reset. Yeah, the game has a memory leak and it's really not helping. That was easy. Found five in the exact same room. You know what? I'm fine if the game hands me this on the plate because I, I don't want to be just breaking civilians out of fossils all day. I do want to show off one Zord fight. I have noticed that the music is starting to loop quite a lot there. The, the music is pretty basic. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, Have I played any other Power Rangers games? Yes, I actually played Power Rangers Super Legends on the DS. It was like a tribute to old Power Rangers series. It was a legacy game. It had lots of old characters in it. And overall, I like the 2D action stage with the punch and the kicking and stuff. But the Zord fights were all controlled with the stylus and just no. And they were also like a first person perspective. So you could you could see the monster you were fighting, but you couldn't exactly see his sword and it was not a fan. So yeah. A lot of Power Rangers games are quick cash-ins. And it's a shame. I remember one time I went to a games event in Leeds and there was a Power Rangers fighting game tournament. And I thought, you know what? Yes, I will enter this Power Rangers fighting game tournament. And, you know, the game was pretty fun. It, you know, you could play as all these different ranges and there were these super moves where you, had, where you summoned the Megazord. It was, yeah, it was quite fun. In, you know, in, enjoyable. And so, yeah, if, you, if it's on sale, maybe try out that Power Rangers uh, 2D fighting game. It has got a season pass, so you can unlock all the all these different characters and stuff. Some characters you unlock, some characters you get by via the season pass. It's a lot of games do season passes these days. But if you get it on sale, you can probably have a good time with it. It's okay, only two more to go after this. Hey! Tudor! Oh yeah, it gives you a rank at the end of the level, so... Oh, we got the evil White Ranger. Yeah, this was like a... A, a plot for Dino Thunder, they had an evil White Ranger who... Was... 
wanted to destroy everything, and he also had like a, a, a Mewtwo plot, a, a Who Am I? And they also cloned him at one point. Well, so there was two White Rangers. A little bit weird. Not if I can help it. I am the serve of Mezgog. I, I am the, the White Ranger. Yes, you are. I am not here to defend the people in danger and save the world from evil. And I only have one goal. Power. You are wrong. You have no power, Mezgo. is using you. Join us and we can work together to defend the planet from all evil. Hee <laughs> hee. You, you're about to see my power. If you, if the Power Rangers can defeat me, I will think about it. What you have said, but we won't because you're going to be destroyed. I didn't want it to come to this. Rangers, combine powers and log in. Tyrannosaur. So yes, our first boss fight, giant Megazord fight. Tyranno! Triceratops. Pterodactyl. Combine to form this thing. <laughs> so yeah, one of the coolest things about this game is you can actually customize the Megazord. So right now our, our options are pretty limited. We've got the uh the fist that we unlocked by playing the minigame and doing it correctly. We've got the shield. And we've also got the drill arm. I'm gonna un use the fist and the, the drill arm. Because that's pretty much all we've got. So, yeah, you can move the, the sword left to right. Oh, it's insisting that I... Yeah, left to right. I got it. Oh, yeah, you can also run. And you can also dash backwards. So, yeah, your, your left arm is A button and your right arm is your B button. So depending on what arms you've got equipped, you can do different combination of attacks and different arms at different uses. Obviously the shield is a shield, and what I've gone for is a more offensive build. So, yeah, and you can also... But yeah, it's a, it's a, two, it's a 2D giant Godzilla fighting thing. Overall... As far as Megazord's battle's concerned, you know, this is not a bad way of doing them. You know, just giant kaiju fights. You know, with big, chunky spikes. You know. Overall, it's a good idea. And... And it's done. So yeah, you have to punch him until both health bars of his arms are drained. Your health bars are at the top, his health bars at the bottom. Easy victory. Come on, Ethan and Kira, we've got a problem. Mezgo has sent more of his minions to the mountains. There's no time to lose. Kira, ride swiftly. You must defeat all the Tridrons. So. Yeah, we got Kira. She was the uh, Yellow Ranger. Mostly her goal in life was to become a singer in the show. Ethan was the geek. And Connor was the hero who liked sport. 
and Dr. Oliver was the was a science teacher. The villain of the show actually had like a, a a Jekyll and Hyde sort of motif. It was I think it was the head teacher who, who kept transforming to this alien and it's it's dinosaur. Prosthetics wise and mask wise, it looked pretty good back back then. Let's see, uh, what game other games have been playing lately? Uh, I've been Um playing some Metabots. So I've been trying to I'm going to try and finish off Metabots before Christmas. That's the uh, Rokoshu version. And I've also been playing and recording some more stuff for the channel. I'm pretty much done with recording Zelda Link to the Past. I mean, Zelda Minish Cap, that's it. Sorry, I got it mixed up. There's two Game Boy Advance Zelda games. There's Link to the Past and Minish Cap. So, yeah, I've um, been recording some more Minish Cab. I've... It's been a really fun LP. I, I love Minish Cab. It's a great game. I've also been recording some more House of the Dead Overkill with Halima, so I'm going to try and get at least one of those out before Christmas. Okay, it's only... Oh, there's only two more to defeat. Okay, so I have to find them. This shouldn't be too hard. Come out and fight me, cowards! I wish there was some sort of hanging or grab move. So I can grab onto ledges. Right, I can't go that way. So, I guess I just have to... No. Uh, I've also been trying to bottom my games backlog and oh here's one all right just one more to go come on oh, okay it's there just unleash the Triceratops and just absolutely destroy him Alright, that's this area clear. I think that's all. That might be the end of the level. Okay, it wants me to find another five in this area. Okay, so there was more than ten. But it's nice that they sectioned the f it, it up and so you not thinking of yeah it's... it's done well this game it does try and follow the plot from the TV show as well now there is some you won't get the whole story of the TV show, but you'll get snippets of it, and it'll, it'll give you a, a decent idea. Oh, we actually got a 2D fighting thing. I forgot these were a thing. 
Ah, right, just wasting with the Triceratops. Well. I have coins, let's use them. And big blast. <laughs> I forgot that was part of the game. Cool. Well, A rank. That's my. B I am absolutely amazing at this game. Oh, we got another Zord fight. That's great. So I get to show off two of these. I think it will go with the basic combination this time. Come on, then. <laughs> These can kind of remind me of the, the giant kaiju fights in Bayonetta 3. Oh, yeah, you can also block by pressing backwards. So. So, it's quite evenly matched. Every boss you fight has the exact same boat as you have. And when you block it, you'll never get lose any damage. So you just block forever until your time is right. No! <laughs> I lost! <laughs> My Megazord's broken to pieces! The giant shark has taken over the world! And all is lost! All is lost! <laughs> Let's give it another go. <laughs> There is a special move, I don't know how you, how you do it. Maybe I should listen to the tutorial more. I've also been playing some Castlevania... Legacy of... Darkness on not others in darkness. The um, the Ment the Mentor on the PS2. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good. Okay, he's got one more arm left. Come on. Okay, I can afford to be a bit, bit more aggressive now. Okay, he's done. Yeah, we defeat a Megalore. Megador. Good work, Kira. Mesogod just won't stop this time. Minions have opened up bowels of all the 
tank fact. Oh, water valves. So yeah, you gotta save the citizens from the from the water. <laughs> but I'm gonna bring this video to a close. So yeah, I I mostly did this video to commemorate my youth and my experiences with Power Rangers and also just to say a, a fond farewell, farewell to Jason David Frank and aka Tommy Oliver. It's really sad that he passed away and I hope his family had can get through this and things can get back to normal because it's always sad to lose a family member. Also Jason David Frank he used his money and his fame to help people. He did events and videos for charity which is just another really great and nice thing to do and when I was younger, Power Rangers was a show that just made my life more enjoyable and it means a lot to a lot of people. So, yeah. Jason, David, thank, thank you for all the hard work you did and all the episodes that you made and you will be missed. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Let the power protect you.